everybody, Jack to VTC here back with another video, and today we're going to be showing you guys top five best landing spots this season. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Leave a like and subscribe if you do, uh, and let's get into it. Alright guys, so this is uh, floor spawn number one. This is my old drop spot, <laughs> and I still use it a lot in arena. Uh, chest spawn at tippy top. There's one down right there, and then there's also one down there. Um, Yeah, it's pretty good loot from both that. And then there's usually tires there you can hit, and then there's a ton of floor spawns you can run around. Uh, well, there's usually two ammo crates right there. They usually spawn a lot. And then there's always this little cabbage box, you know. Uh, there's a few rocks up here, so you get decent match from them. Uh, and then down here is the little RV. There's two floor spawns over by it, like this one. And then, um, there's always a cooler in here, a chest, and then there's always a search, like, ammo crate. Um, yeah. Also, since it's Halloween... They got these little, like, boxes out here of candy, so now you can get these if you play pubs. But there's always a ammo crate right here, floor spawn right here, and then there might, there's usually an ammo crate there or a floor spawn there. And then if you go up right here, there is usually a chest spawn, like that, and then there's floor spawns right here, and there's another floor spawn right here, and there could be one there. But, uh, yeah, that's it for drop spot number one. Uh, let's get into drop spot number two. Alright guys, so for the second drop spot, we got gas station outside of Rocky and Tilted. So if you do like Keen and getting into a lot of fights, this is good because you got Blimp for rotation out. And it's actually pretty solid loot. Like, there's a chest here. There's a ton of floor spawns on this side. And there's some on the gas station roof. But also there's a cooler box right there. There's slurp barrels right here. And then if you break underneath... Yeah. If you break underneath right here, then there's usually a chest spawn. Yeah, right there. Um... Yeah, and then to get down, you can just sprint jump. You can take that. You can take that zip line, or you can land on that. And then there's floor spawn right there on the roof again. Usually a chest spawn. There's a chest spawn down there. There's a ton of floor spawns over here. Then you also got these boxes, which are really helpful. You know, you get a lot of stuff from. It only costs one key, like gold hammer, gold purple sniper, all that. You got um, floor spawns here, and then right here on the second layer, pretty good loot. Um, yeah, second layer is pretty decent, but once you get all your loot and stuff, let's say you're done looting up, you get the keys and everything, there's this NPC here, let's say you get everything, you're ready to go, you want a key, you're trying to get a good game, what you do, is you go, you take the zipline up, go over the blimp, and then if you want, if you want to get higher, I recommend double dipping, so you can go rocky, or you could go tilted from either way, so you have good rotation. Or if you want to get further in, you could take this blimp, or you could take that blimp to that one. You can basically go anywhere since your center map, and uh, yeah, that was it for spot two. Uh, let's get into spot three. Alright guys, this is spot number three. It's the boat over by Greasy Girl, but it moves across the map. It has really good mobility, as you can see up there. And then it also has that blimp over there, so if you get enough keys and loot, then you can get it. They have four spawns on the top on both sides. One on that side that you can't see right now. But there's also an NPC there that sells other stuff. But they have four spawns up here. And then there's a chest spawn. Or four spawn. Like in that corner or that corner. And then. Huh. Loot. Uh, either way. There's a chest spawn in this corner or that corner over there. And then if you go downstairs. There's a ton of four spawns around this area. And then also. Yeah, it connects over that way. And then there's also four spawns over this area around here this way. And then also, if you get enough keys and stuff, you can come down here. You can open the vault. Also, if you get two keys from that vault right there, you, you'll you have enough keys to open the other vault over by Blimp, as I just showed you. Pretty solid loot in general. Um, You have really good mobility and stuff. And uh, yeah, if you have enough uh, keys and stuff, then you can get stacked over there and then you can just blimp out and you can get anywhere since you're on the edge map this is good so you can get to the middle for rotation but uh yeah let's move on to spot four all right guys so we're here at spot four and this is shark and dusty uh... depot with share um it has really good mobility right by the pirate ship right now and there's also that blimp that's not going to be moving so once the pirate ship does move then you'll have really good rotation with that and everything and you can get across the map with the geyser and a helipad over there no, there's a chest at the top of this one you can get max shield from slurp mushrooms and there's also a ton of brick and everything else you can farm around here. There's a ton of fishing spots and all that. And then there's that boat right there. There's four spawns underneath shark. And then including the mushrooms that you get max shield I already mentioned. Oh, uh, there's pretty decent wood. Share has some decent loop. Depot, you can get max metal every single game. You can get probably over a thousand metal. 
in like arena. So if you're playing with duos and stuff, and you get max metal, then yeah, you can you're stacked. You have a chest spawn there. Usually chest spawns and floor spawns all on that. And then after you get max metal, we usually rotate out here. And if we have enough keys or whatever, then we'll get the floor spawns around this area. And then we'll break this open. And then we'll go open this bunker if we have a key. Because usually there's a ton of loot from here. And then after that, we go to this vault down here. Look at all this loot. It's stacked, you know. And then after that, if we have enough time, then we just basically rotate out with... Or, not rotate out. We usually rotate to the helipad, grab some loot. We take that little slipstream right there. And then we take it to the pirate ship and then blimp out so we can get center map again. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, spot four. So let's get into spot five and our final spot. Alright guys, for the fifth and final spot, we are landing at the bottom left. The bottom left is the strongest area around the map so far. This is all random spawns, so this is the weak side of the map right now. So I recommend if you are going to pick a drop spot, any of these would be good but if you're gonna make your own then i recommend do not land up in this area unless it's gonna be like this top left area because it has rifts to get out and get away so first it's this little barn area i know there's a lot of spots in this area right now but this is the strongest side and there's like certain mushrooms so you can get back shield but you land up here on this mushroom you grab the chest you get all the weapons drop down on this one you grab all the four spawns around this area you eat them mushrooms usually four spawn over there and then after that, you slide straight down, and then I would just pickaxe this on my way, so I get some shield. And then I would just walk in here, chest spawn here, grab that, and then I grab all the floor spawns around here, down, all this, run around. Alright, and then after I get these chest spawns and stuff, I usually run around back here, grab this chest real quick. And then I usually run through here, grab all this loot. And then after that, I'll grab that chest right there, and then I run through, break this, or anything like that. Then I grab this pallet, I get that chest, grab the pallet, either one, and then I'll usually get this loot, and then on my way I get that chest up there, and then after, I usually just get out of here, and you can also get max shield with the barrels or the mushrooms, but after that I go down here, I get all this brick, because you can get max brick really easy from down there, if you're playing arena, and then after that, I go all the way through here, and then I grab this chest, I get up the mushrooms like this, I get all that loot up there, after that, I grab this, and then I take geyser like this, I take it over here to boat, and then, pretty self-explanatory, you hit this right here, you get over to this one, and uh, yeah, you have max rotation, because you can just hit this, and then, yeah, you're gone, but, yeah. Alright, but if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, we're going to try and upload every other day from now on. Try and get more consistent. Uh, post more videos out for you guys. So, build more of a community. 500 face reveal. 500 subscribers is face reveal. That's the goal right now. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe. And it's been Jack W. Keys and I'm out. Peace. Then, you can go to the Blimp Vault. All... Oh. All the way over here on this helipad, there's a vault right there. You can open it with two keys, you know. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, Jackson. <laughs> okay. How'd you disappear? What the hell? <laughs> I can't, I can't. Magic. <laughs> oh my god, what is happening? No! No, no. Give me out, give me out, give me out. This is cancer. This is cancer. I'm sorry. I actually can't. No, I'm done. I'm done with this. Oh my god! Pretty solid loot in general. I just got gooed on.